YouTube, what's going on? How you doing? It's your boy, uh, Dave Serino, coming at you in portable HD. Uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Singer, songwriter, rapper, producer, engineer, home studio owner, I do it all. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point today, you know what I mean? Basically, I'm going to talk about sound quality. I'm, I get a lot of emails about, yo, how do I take my, my sound? I got this mix. It just don't sound right. I did everything, yo, EQ, compression, I cleaned it up, I, I threw on these reverbs, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I mixed it for eight hours, put it in my truck, put it in my CD, and it sounds whack, the bass don't sound right, you know what I mean, the, the quality does, doesn't live up to the standards of a, a, of a standard CD from a record label release, it sounds just whack, uh, what's the problem, um, you know what I mean, basically, it's it comes down to preamps and converters, and I'm I'm gonna turn the camera as we talk about that. When I first started off, I started off on um, my first well before well, actually it was the Tascam tape I was messing with, but then um, when I got to the digital realm, I got this Personas Firebox, um, and I'll talk about that more later. But I got the Personas Firebox. Um, and then I got this. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> and then I got this. <clears throat> Just digital. And then I got this. I got a lot of different things. But basically, I um, hope y'all can hear me from behind the camera. But basically, what it, what, what, what it comes down to is, is um, preamps and converters. That's what makes your sound quality. Uh, I'm not sure if you, if you guys are familiar with that. You can do all the mixing in the world and you make it sound the best way that you can but if you don't have uh, quality preamps and quality converters your sound quality is not going to be up to par period um, and for for home studios yo, it's very hard um, it's very hard to get that pro sound from a home studio if you don't have a lot of money a lot of times in the professional studios they have a budget uh, of a lot of money, thousands of dollars, that they spend solely on converters and preamps. That's what gets the sound quality. That's why it's very hard for home studios to get that sound that they're looking for because they don't have the money to get the proper quality converters, proper quality preamps that they need for their sound to be up to par with commercial releases. However, this company right here, Apogee, leveled the playing ground for home studio users. Now, like I said earlier, I bought the, the, pre, the Personas Firebox um, when I first started um, doing digital. And it gives you a very clean sound, a very clean sound. A very, it's very good for like demos, like if you need to do a demo tape or something like that. It gives me, it gave me a very clean sound. However, um, also the microphones are very important too. Uh, I, I started with the AKG C three thousand B. Let me get that for y'all. Bam, right there. I started off on that on that bad boy. Um, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't particularly like that one. I, I liked it for demos, but it, for me, you know, my voice is, is very distinct, and I had, it gave me a very harsh sound. Um, like when I'm rapping, it's cool, but when I start singing, um, yeah, when I start singing, it gave it a very harsh tone. So I didn't like it. So what I did was I got the Bluebird. But anyway, um, the Personas is good, but it wasn't until I stepped up my game with the uh, duet. The Apogee Duet, um, and this is the reason that they got they have different versions they make. They make the Rosetta, they make the what is it, the Big Ben, they make the Rosetta Ensemble. They make the Ensemble. It depends on what your needs are. Like um, the bigger ones have more uh, ins and outs and stuff like that. This is very small. This is for like just for like one person uh, for your microphone and stuff like that. Um, it only fits Mac Macintosh, but. Um, I'm just I'm the reason why I'm telling you all this because I I get you know what I mean like is you might as well just share share the knowledge I mean look 
for for a home for a home studio. Honestly, the the, du the duet uh, will, will will help a lot with sound quality. It's you know what I mean a lot depends on the sound mixer. Look, I can I can give you all the tools in the world, but if you if you can't mix, and you it, it doesn't matter how good the preamps and converters are in the unit. But the bottom line is that the Apogee duet makes for a home studio budget makes the best converters and preamps in the game that's my opinion um you know you can debate that you know if you disagree agree it doesn't matter i mean look i tried everything on the market this is my opinion the apogee duet make the i mean not not the duet the apogee itself apogee itself makes one of the best converters and preamps now preamps and converters are, are, are two different things okay um the thing is, with when you get like a sound card, this is a sound card, okay? A lot of people will say, "Oh, what's the difference between a sound card audio interface?" It's the same thing. Sound card is your audio interface, okay? It communicates, allows you to communicate your computer, uh, hook up your your hardware to your software. That's what audio interfaces and sound cards allow you to do. Um, now, uh, when you when they make all in one unit, this is the all in one unit, okay? Uh, so they have the preamps and converters in one unit. So the preamps and converters are in one unit. The Apogee Duet is my choice. So if you guys are debating what to get, Apogee Duet is my choice. Anything by Apogee, Rosetta Ensemble, Big Ben, anything by Apogee is my choice. Now. I don't care if I give y'all secrets. I don't really don't care at this point because my music is made and I like to help other people um, that's coming up and they have questions and they're having a hard time. Yo, this is, you know, if you're not getting that sound quality, if you're not getting that sound quality that you're looking for, that's the reason. That's that's not the only reason. It's one of the only, it's one of the reasons. But getting a, a good unit now. Look, Apogee Duet is not the only thing that on the market. I mean, that's just what I use. But there's other things that that are very good too. Like Motu Motu Ultralight is pretty good. They make some good good stuff too, um, and stuff like that. So let's see. I don't want to ramble on, but I think I think you guys you know I think this is a very important tutorial for those trying to get sound quality. I got the inbox um, just to get it, just because I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to, to uh, you know, get my Pro Tools game up a little bit, um, so I bought the Mbox, and um, it's pretty good, you know, it's pretty good. I really don't have, have any complaints. I mean, I just basically got got it just to get Pro Tools, just to learn Pro Tools, but I don't really use it for my uh, stuff yet. If I do that, I go to like uh, the big boys. They, they got H, uh, the Pro Tools HD. Um, all right, so I'm out of here, guys. I uh, hope that um, I hope that you guys learned from this tutorial. And uh, feel free to hit, hit me up with questions, emails. I'm Dave Serino. I got a new um, mixtape coming out uh, very soon for free. And I'll keep you updated. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, Dave. Out. Peace.